just to highlight some of the things that G Jim shared and uh, f from a little angle that I think is a blessing that the Lord shows us. Um, and that is that, uh, and Jim kind of pointed out some of those things, um, you know, that the, there is, he, you know, we need to share the Prince of Peace, the, the peace that is the Prince of Peace. And, um, and T. Austin Sparks said something about never being moved again. And uh, I really appreciated those things. And it, it just reminded me of Psalm 32.7. <clears throat> you're familiar with it when I when I read it. It says, "You are my hiding place. You are you protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance." That's the NIV. But I was just saying that you 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 know from what Jim was sharing, you either you either pray those prayers from a place of trouble, or you pray those prayers from a hiding place, and uh, and. In the the actual Hebrew word is not hiding, but is secret place. It's a secret place, which is hidden, but it's it's a secret place. And <clears throat> so I jotted this down uh, while Jim was sharing. We are unable to find inner peace while praying because because we pray from the wrong place. We pray from the place of trouble instead of that secret place that that hiding place <clears throat> and um, that we should we should if we really understand his heart we should begin our prayers and our heart communications with him from that secret place instead of just all the swirl that's going on around us <clears throat> and a, a crisis instead of from a crisis place and even the word preserve me um, uh, is, brings out that secret place, that hiding place. Um, and uh, let me read this uh, scripture out of um, 1 Samuel 19, 2. And Saul spake to Jonathan his son and to all his servants that they should kill David. This is, now remember David wrote this psalm about the hiding place. So Saul has spoken to all of his servants and all of his men that they should kill David. But Jonathan, Saul's son, delighted much in David. Here's that heart. See, the hiding place is going to come. Not it's. Let me just say, it's going to come from a heart of love. He delighted, Saul's son, Jonathan, delighted much in David. And Jonathan told David, saying, Saul, my father, seeketh to kill you. Now, therefore, I pray thee, take heed to thyself until the morning, and abide in a secret place, and hide thyself. That's Saul's heart. That's him covering him and providing that place. <clears throat> and so the, the word preserve, even, hiding place is secret place, but the word preserve means to keep secret, or it's hidden. And it relates to the heart. So, just finally going to, to a scripture that I think will bless you when you see um, the beauty of finding this place of security, of not being moved, uh, really based on the Lord's heart, first and foremost. And so, this one's in a Song of Solomon. <clears throat> and... I want you to see, uh, up to this point, I've read scriptures that talk about us, you know, a hiding place for me, da 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 da. But this verse is going to speak about his response when we pray from that hiding place. Oh, my dove, in the cleft of the rock, there's the hiding place, his open wound. In the cleft of the rock, in the crannies of the cliff, there, in that hiding place, let me see your face. Let me hear your voice praying from the hiding place of my heart. Let me hear your voice. Let your voice, your voice is sweet and your face is lovely. Isn't that beautiful? Hallelujah. 
Anyway, what I thought was, he's got a secret love affair with us that's in his heart, and we can hide in that, and that's going to preserve us, more than preserve us. It's going to just quicken us.